back again a couple of days later just long enough to blow up my UNO and my XRF unit uh, so I've had a uh, breadboard one up and I'm using a TTL to USB connection there uh, software is similar these box just do a couple of extra readouts nothing particularly interesting I've got the drills hooked up to uh, input 10 and 11 uh, to the speed controllers and uh, they're all connected up to a 3 cell at the moment so the drills are underpowered because they're 18 volt ones uh, but it was just convenient because I have the crocodile clips all the analog sticks on the screen and then on the other stick So obviously it works, but it's not great. It's it's um, not bad though. I'm going off the idea of using these drills to control the beast anyway. Uh, probably end up using some stepper motors, but that's all right. We're still mucking around at this point. But basically it works. I've got um I send out through the stick or oh, let me I'll just disconnect the drills. But if I use a stick then I get so that's left analogue uh X and Y coordinates. What I've done is I've I've times the decimal place numbers that I was getting by a thousand and then added a thousand. So, zero is actually 1,000, and then 1,000 in one direction is obviously zero, and 1,000 in the opposite direction is 2,000. Uh, so these sticks are centred at the moment. If I do that, so in the y-axis 2,000, that's as full on as it can go. Or well, there's y, zero, and one direction of 2000 in the other. The code for this hasn't really changed much. Um, it was just a case of making sure I could put out the data as I wanted it. Uh, the Arduino code has changed considerably. Let's go up the top here. Um, we check for starts and ends of packets. We do a little bit of error checking in the middle of the data. Uh, I think that's this bit here, but I'm not even too sure if that's really doing proper error checking. I think it's just looking for the uh, the breakup of the information to make sure it fits. Um, then it looks for button as the first command. Where's? Hang on, let's go back here. I'll set the program again. Connect. Okay. So if I push a button, you can see the output data is button dot rt. So that's right trigger, or you know, right shoulder. Get rid of that, get rid of that, go back in here. So if it sees button at the beginning, then it goes to the button code. If it sees LA or RA, it goes to those two respectively. LA standing for left analog stick, RA is right analog stick. Uh, the buttons were very simple to map. Uh, with the analog sticks, I had problems because it was chars that were being sent and I needed them as ints, so I had to use Atoy. Um, but then, yeah, I'd simply map the, 
numbers and then analog right to mount the motor. So it's basically going, but there'll be more videos, I'm not quite finished with it yet.